Jeeps. Today we're up in Alaska. But of course you don't just show up in Alaska. Uh, it's a long drive. Here we are taking a look at uh, just what shape the Jeep was in before it left. Actually very, very clean. Um, I'm kind of crazy about it except for the scratches that were back there. There's still a little bit of dirt from Ottawa, but um, for the most part it was very, very clean. Cleaner than uh, most people. Um, this thing has 20,000 miles at the time, uh, but well worth getting it dirty. We drove out uh, via 90 uh, to Seattle, uh, stopping here along the way for, for some clouds. Um, I ended up staying in, in RV parks or campsites along the way uh, wherever we could. I pulled off here. This is uh, near the uh, Columbia River and found this Grand Canyon sort of thing. Um, kind of a beautiful place. Uh, took some pictures. A lot of rock climbers there. I was surprised. Uh, I was really in the middle of nowhere in uh, in kind of central Washington. Our first first stop um, that we really made was in uh, Hyder, Alaska. It's actually uh, pretty far south. Has a beautiful uh, salmon glacier here. You can see my wife and son. Uh, I picked them up in Seattle. They flew in there, and uh, just a really beautiful area. Just the rain and the uh, this is Fish Creek. A lot of bears come here. This is a this is black bear we saw on the side of the road. Um, after that, we went up to to Anchorage and then down to Seward, um, where we were were able to um, take a boat trip where we saw orcas and humpback whales and and some glaciers. Or one one large glacier. Uh, we took the Kenai Fjords trip. Just beautiful, beautiful area. Um, got to see orcas actually belly rubbing on the on the coastline, um, which was pretty cool. And then we took a trip up to Denali. Uh, we drove up there, and unfortunately in Denali you have to take one of those buses uh, to go out and see it. Uh, we did see some caribou relatively close. Uh, we saw some bears and an Arctic fox. That's uh, Denali, um, or what was known as Mount McKinley there in the background behind the clouds. It's pretty tough to see. Uh, my wife flew back from Anchorage at that point, and my son and I went on uh, exploring. And here we are in the McCarthy area. There's a forest fire there. That's where the color in the clouds is coming from. It's actually from the fire. Uh, so on one side of the river we had fire, and the other side we had ice. Uh, you can see the glacier back there. Uh, pretty cool area, uh, a lot of dirt travel. Uh, then we took the Denali Highway, um, and we camped out overnight here, um, just middle of the night. And uh, this is pretty much how the roads were. Um, some big potholes every once in a while, but a lot of little kind of washboard bumps and just, just loose, loose, or you know kind of gravel like this not not too bad um, glad we had the Jeep these guys uh, caribou not the brightest of animals they would they would congregate in the road and then they would just trot down the road um, and they wouldn't get out of your way they would just they'd look back every once in a while and say hey they're still there so Michael we're driving on the Denali Highway what do you think of the actual road conditions it's kind of suck yeah, not good? No, there's a lot of potholes. Not worse than Chicago, though. And what do you think about driving the Jeep? It's holding up. <laughs> it's holding up. And, the, like, is it hard to drive? Is it difficult on these types of roads? No, or... it rides pretty smoothly. Yeah. Anything, uh, any comments about Alaska in general? It's really pretty. Yeah. And how about uh, the, our trip through Denali National Park on the on the park buses? That was boring. Yeah, we went we went out to Wonder Lake, right? Yep. And that was an eleven hour trip there and back. Yep, not worth the eleven hours. Could have cut off at least two. And we saw while we were on the on that trip, we saw 
bear, moose, caribou, and doll sheep, but all of them were very pretty far away encounters, right? Yeah. And we had no control over, um, no control over it, right? Mm -hmm. How long we sat at which which location. We spent a lot of time looking at caribou that were way off in the distance. Um, so, how, okay, so one. It was great to have my son drive as well. Uh, having a second driver makes it things a lot easier. Uh, he didn't love off-roading that much, but uh, he did like driving on the highway in the Jeep. Uh, this is a lynx. First time we've ever seen a big cat, or uh, at least a, a wild cat, out in the wilderness. Um, moose, lots of moose on the trip. Um, you know, one beautiful one uh, there. And then uh, black bear, a lot of black bear along the trip as well. It was funny, the highway, they really cut it back on the sides for a lot of the Alcan Highway and uh, just just so that uh, you can you get a clear view of wildlife, I'm guessing, and uh, kind of keep things tame around the highway. You definitely have to watch out for things crossing the road. Uh, here's a large grizzly bear uh, running across the road. Um, definitely signs of... Um, crashes and, and, and wrecks along the way up the Dalton Highway. Um, here we are at the Arctic Circle. Um, and this is the, the Coldfoot Camp, kind of, or Coldfoot Gas Station. Um, small little place, you know, mostly, mostly for truckers. And uh, this is the Attigan Pass area of the Dalton Highway. Um, further north than the than the trees, so everything is is kind of barren, but beautiful. Uh, sunset next to the the pipeline as we're driving northward. This is about 1 a.m. in the morning, actually. And uh, beautiful scene. Only thing that could make it better is, uh, you know, to to add a picture of the Jeep in there. Yeah. People roll their eyes when they see all my Jeep pictures, but I kind of like them. Uh, muskox. Got to uh, get some pretty neat close shots of muskox while I was up there. They're kind of a neat animal. Cuter than they look there. And then we got up to Prudhoe Bay or, or Dead Horse and um, had lunch in this Prudhoe Bay Hotel. We didn't stay there, but it was possible. This is a famous sign. Um, end of the Dalton Highway at the general store. Um, I had to find that. All the construction is off the ground there so that it doesn't melt the permafrost and, and uh, cause issues with that. Everything up in Prudhoe Bay is very covered in uh, dirt and, and grime, and it's, it's a very industrial town. You know, containers back there, and uh, the Jeep is not looking too great from all the dust on the road. Uh, but we did make it to the Arctic Ocean. Uh, you have to take a bus to that as well. It's a short little bus trip that's narrated by a, um, you know, one of the one of the guys. Kind of nice though. Uh, very cold obviously. And then it was back on the road. Uh, we didn't stay up there so it was it was back driving. Luckily the the sun was up. Very dusty conditions for a lot of it. Very very loose gravel at certain points. Uh, during their construction. Um, a lot of construction equipment along the side of the road. I just love this thing. The size of those tires. It was the biggest construction thing I've ever seen. Had to take a picture next to it. Another thing, we, we just got covered in this like oily, dirty mess. I mean, it looked like chocolate frosting practically. This is the front bumper of the car. Um, luckily, the rain got rid of some of that. Um, and as we got further south, we started to get sunsets again instead of having the sun up all the time. Uh, here's my son taking advantage of a, a particularly beautiful one and taking some pictures of it with his phone and with the camera. Uh, this is after the Dalton Highway. We're back in Fairbanks. Um, at a Taco Bell of all things and uh, we definitely got some looks with having the car looking like that. 
my son was able to take um, a couple great pictures here of uh, of grizzly bears and their cubs. The um, mother was looking back because there was another uh, male coming. This is through the Icefields Parkway um, between Jasper and Banff. Just a gorgeous drive. And after that, we went to Glacier National Park in Montana and had a great breakfast at uh, the uh, the Park Cafe, which uh, we love. We've been there a number of times. But this is Glacier. Uh, probably if I had to give it the most beautiful part of the trip to one place, it was Glacier National Park in Montana. Um, but Alaska was well worth the drive going up there. Just some sights and, and, and things that you just can't uh, get anywhere else. And then here is afterwards. Um, it took a beating. Um, it is obviously not the same color as when it went in. There was supposed to be a lot of black there. And everything is this tan, cement-like, has a cement-like coating. Uh, it's just brutal to get off. I don't know how I'm going to get back to the shape that it was in before. But uh, I'm going to try. Uh, definitely worth the trip, though, uh, even with all the washing. Uh, the Alaska Highway was a lot of fun, um, and just being up in Alaska was fantastic.